Australia has a world-class pedigree and reputation for sustainable fisheries management, both in terms of wild-caught commercial fishing and also in aquaculture. And that's a platform that's been established for some time, if you like, from the catch through to the plate. Perhaps the best way that I can explain about Australia's pedigree and uh, well-recognised qualification in sustainable fisheries management is probably best described in, in, in the form of the acronym PRETS. Um, P standing for policy is where Australia has established over many years very robust and well-disciplined policies for managing fisheries, both wild caught and aquaculture, both in terms of research capability in understanding the breeding stock and how to preserve the breeding stock. In terms of equipment and technology transfer, Australian application there has enabled that Australian seafood can be processed and delivered all over the world in pristine world-class condition. And then finally, I guess, when it comes down to the human input, Australia has a proven capability in both skills and training to ensure that uh, people fully understand and obviously work together to providing world-class uh, management and uh, farming and processing of Australian seafood. There's a wonderful opportunity for many of the best practice in sustainable fisheries management to be adapted and adopted by the Indian seafood sector to bring about greater efficiency both in terms of the quality and the processing and the packaging and of course the marketing of, of Indian seafood, whether we talk shellfish, whether we talk finfish or whether we talk aquaculture. So to give you some examples, um, Australia has, has got a wealth of experience uh, in the area of, uh, for example, live lobster holding and the ability to be able to reduce the mortality of rock lobster and we believe that that's certainly an area that uh, would, uh, would benefit the, the India, Indian lobster industry. Um, if we talk about other areas to do with uh, the, the handling and the packaging of seafood and for that matter the value adding of seafood, there too we see a tremendous opportunity for Australian collaboration to be able to contribute greatly to putting both value and I think greater sustainability into, into India's uh, fishing sector. Well, I think the Indian seafood industry can engage in Australia in a number of ways. As a starting point, I would encourage the sector to engage with us here in Austrade. We've got a well-established network across India.